for the remember to record. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, I'm known to forget and need reminding. Um, so if there is anybody on this call right now who didn't manage to get into the hub, the hub is where the recording or the notes or the things that we talk about tonight, Tersha has already prepared everything that's going to be spoken about tonight and it goes live the minute this call is finished along with this recording. And so we really want you to understand where to find all that information. So, um, so Caroline, I would like you right now, Tersha is going to private message you and get your email address and work with you to get you on the hub. Anybody else who is not on the hub, write it on there right now. And we're gonna to work together with you guys to get you on the hub by the end of tonight. Um, so Claudia, is that saying I'm on or is that saying I need help? Are you in or are you, you're not on the hub? Okay, so as you write, you're not on the hub, Tersha's gonna be taking notes. Um, Tersha was going to be our um, admin person tonight and she is stepping into the role of, um, <coughs> she's stepping, excuse me, she's stepping into the role of co-presenter once again. Unfortunately, Kushma was presenting with me tonight and has had to um, help her mom who has had to go to hospital. So um, she's devastated not to be here tonight, but it's nothing serious, but it's somewhere she needed to step in. Um, and we understand completely, and this is why we're a team. So Tersha is jumping on. She's been along the road with all the prep. Um, so she can just slot right in because this is how we do. So um, great. Tosh is taking notes of everybody who is not um, in the hub. Guys, if you're in the hub, you know you're in the hub because you're looking in the hub to get all the information. So if you are not seeing the information from last week's call and referring it to it during the week between the two calls, this is where you need to start. And it's really important for you to go there because that's where we're gonna be sending our customers. So as you onboard new people, you've got to be very familiar with the hub. There is the Young Drops hub. This is with, for our customers, where they can find all the cool notes we make, the ongoing education classes. So that, imagine everything you know. Some of you are newer, you don't even know that much. You don't even know what happened last year. Last year, we rocked out once a week an ongoing education class on pets. We knocked it out on oils for moving your body. We knocked out ones on oils for your emotions. We did a part one and a part two. They're all on the hub. So if you onboard later on in the process, because anybody from now didn't do 2020s classes, we were sitting at home in lockdown. We knocked out a whole bunch of amazing things. So we want everybody to have access to that when they onboard into the team. So you are the people who are gonna be onboarding them. So you have to know where to find this stuff. That's the Young Drops Hub. Then we have the Biz Hub. Now you're only allowed in the Biz Hub if you are on this call or doing the business. And there you're gonna find all the resources we talk about in these lessons and all the things. So I'll repeat myself one more time for those coming in late. If you're in here listening to me and the concept of the Biz Hub and the Young Drops Hub is foreign to you, you're gonna write in the chat box. You can even write privately to Tosha. I don't mind. You can shout it out like everybody else has there. You are not alone, um, but let's get you in. Let's help you get in the hubs. Your mind will be blown. It is such a fun place to hang out. Okay, so that's my notes before we begin. So lovely to have, we've got 31 people on this call. Like, that's exciting. That is pure, like, energizing. So I'm excited to share tonight's slides with you that we have been working on. We're back, Launch Your Biz, our foundation series. And just to remind you where we're going, what we're walking through. Week one, we spoke about the foundations and the mechanics of getting started. If you missed week one, if you can't remember week one, but busy lives, please go back to the hub and everything from week one is gonna be in there. It's basically written like an article so you can read. Here are my six steps from week one. 
This is what they looked like. Step one was find your mentor. Step two, wait before you upgrade. Step three, join the biz hub. So if you're not on the biz hub, that was your homework from last week. Use your oils. If you'd like to, if you wanna be participating tonight, go on the chat and talk about one oil that you used last week that maybe you hadn't discovered before. Type it in the chat and inspire each other. Set up your loyalty rewards cart and plug into the Tuesday night classes. So you can continue to go into the chat. And if you are having problems with any of those steps, shout out, shout out privately to me on the chat, shout out to Tersha, she's adminning while I'm presenting, and we can help you with those steps. If you don't know who your mentor is, if you um, don't know about setting up your LRP cart. Now, if you go into the biz hub, the step-by-step -step for setting up your LRP is gonna be in there. You know, the plug-in class, what is that class? How do I plug people in? It's all gonna be in there to remind you to um, remember all of that. So we can direct you and we can assist you. This is pretty cool, okay? So you're not alone. This can feel a little overwhelming in the beginning. We're here for you. Um, and now we're moving, let me go back to this one. So that was last week. This week we're talking about authentic inviting, sharing, and sales. Because at the end of this, the day, we are here to do this as a business. And so therefore, we've got to talk about what makes this business different? Why, why does it work? Why are you here? The reason you're here is because this feels right, if you know what I'm saying. This feels um, intuitive. This feels like something you can't stop talking about. And so we want to talk about how do you move that um, forward? So authentic. Remember, the main word is authentic there because it taps into last week. Last week, you cannot share and sell and do this as a business authentically if you aren't using your oils. Okay, so I'm seeing a whole bunch of oil usage coming in there. Check them out. Maybe you'll be inspired to try something new this coming week. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. Um, okay, let's go. So, authentic sampling and inviting. I started with this little, um, this little slide because this was a huge, huge mindset block for me, okay? Me, imagine, for me. Um, and last, last, in 2019, I was sitting in a meeting like this, except it was with Americans, because there weren't many South Africans doing this as a business. So I had to go to the calls in America. And the person who was presenting said, I'd like you to choose a word. And I'd like you to think, what does your word for for doTERRA, for your business, and um, what's your word gonna be for 2019? And I got off that call and I knew what my word was gonna be. My word was gonna be shine. Shine just came to me, it was my word. And the reason it was my word was because if I wanted to do this as a business, I had to turn my light on. And I had to make sure people knew I was a doTERRA wellness advocate. Okay. Um, I had a wellness advocate once come to me and she said, I can't believe so-and-so enrolled my beautician. I told my beautician about these oils. These oils, they're amazing. And I told my beautician, I can't live without these oils. And somebody else enrolled my beautician. And I said to her, what's that? Special um, that your know that you do doTERRA as a business. I'm just going to grab that mute. Does your petition know that you do this as a business? And she's like, no, because when I went there, she said, do you know those oils you told me were amazing? I found someone who actually sells them. She's called a wellness advocate, and I managed to get some of those oils you told me you couldn't live without. And I think this is a really powerful story because it was a powerful moment between me and that wellness advocate. 
when she turned around and she said, I was too embarrassed to say that one more sentence. She was embarrassed to, and I understand that and I empathize with that because I was embarrassed to say, I am a doTERRA wellness advocate and I sell essential oils in this way. You know, I had to, I had to overcome that mindset block. Um, now, my little boy starts at grade one and we have to fill in the parents. Who are his parents? What do you do? What is your work phone number? And I'm doTERRA wellness advocate, in brackets, come to me for all your needs, teacher. <laughs> no, I didn't put that in brackets, but I, I would have. Um, and I'm really proud to say that's what I did. But my first move, guys, I had to get a decal made. I have a company car. I had a, my own business, um, so I'm allowed to do this. There's some rules around it. I don't know. And I actually got a sticker <laughs> that says doTERRA, big. If you see me coming on my car, it says doTERRA, big, decal. And it was an really important move for me because if I wanted to help people the way that I knew I wanted to help people, and if I wanted to grow my business to the level I wanted to grow my business, you better know if you were thinking about doTERRA, you know where to come. I don't need to go to every party and say, guess what, I do essential oils. And if you're talking about um, your wrist, that's all, I've got essential oils. And if you're like your child's got an earache, I've got essential oils. I am not that person. But I use my oils and I, people know they are looking for oils. If something comes up about oils, they know who to go to. I am the oil lady. And I never talk about it at parties. I never talk about it on my mom's WhatsApp group. Um, I've just joined a new WhatsApp group. And on that WhatsApp group, somebody said, hey guys, does anybody know where the nearest ENT is? My little girl has an earache. And um, I'm Yumdrops, Dominique Yumdrops on my WhatsApp. And that woman saw me at the thing and I had doTERRA on the back of my car. And I never said on the WhatsApp group, hey, before you go to the doctor, do you want to try essential oil? I didn't even say a word. And at pickup parents evening last night, she came to me and she said, um, you know, my daughter's got that earache do you by any chance have anything that would help? And she came and found me and I am brand new in this town, but I am, I'm just smell like essential oils every time you come near me. And I'm not afraid to say, this is who I am and this is what I do. And so kind of gone on further than I should have on that point, but it's a really important one, guys. If you would like to do this as a business, people must know you do this as a business. And in the beginning, you're gonna be a slasher. So I was a slasher. Hi, I'm Dominique. Um, I own a, a baby shop. It's called Yummy Baby. I am a yoga teacher. I teach yoga and I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. So I'm a slasher, but I never forgot that wellness advocate one at the Hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm a copy editor and I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. Start to add the slash. Okay. Hello, my name is. Okay, you guys got me. Are we all good on that? Um, okay. Moving on, I'm going to hand over to Tasha and her here now. Hi, Tasha. Hello. Good. Okay. So, uh, step one today, we've got four steps. Step one is around natural sharing and sampling. And it really is like to understand what it, where are you? What are you, what are, how do you want to show up? And you know, often we get confused between the difference between a sharer and a builder. And with a sharer, it's actually very simple. A sharer is somebody who shares when the opportunity arises. So I want to earn extra pocket money, I want to pay for my oils. And because I love sharing and I love my oils, if the opportunity comes up with a friend or with family or somebody, I will share. When you are a builder, you're a lot more intentional around it. And you actually carry your oils everywhere. So when I started, um, I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to do this as a business, but from the very start, I took my, my, all my oils to my corporate office with me. And uh, when people would come into my office, they would smell the oils and go, why, why are you going everywhere with these oils? I said, well, firstly, I love them, but I'm also doing it as a business. So when you have your oils with you, you, you have that opportunity to always share. And that's a slight mindset um, that you can measure yourself with in terms of your commitment and whether you're carrying all your oils with your samples, but you always have oils with you and whether it's just what you're using, but you're always ready to actually give somebody an experience with it. Um, the other very important thing um, about being a builder is that you'll constantly have a little notebook or a piece of paper 
where you are writing down the names of the people that come into your mind and into your heart. Um, and, and that's a big part of sharing authentically because when you get, when you think of somebody, it's not about going to make your hundred names list and, and who's all the people I can go and sell to. When you start thinking about the oils and you start thinking about your experiences and, and somebody that just pops in your mind of this would really help them with their earache. This would really help them with this issue. I wonder if this person would be interested because they are so into a low tox lifestyle. So that ability to have a list that you just write down as people just spontaneously pop into your heart, to your mind is a really uh, important step as well. Um, and, and what you should try and do is obviously reach out to them in that moment because there's a reason that they came to your mind. But have that list, think about who else might be interested um, and then also start thinking about how do you share? And there's very, very many, there's very different ways of sharing, um, but they're all around creating experience. So what is an experience? An experience is one touch with oil. So where you have one opportunity to get somebody to use an oil. And that could be um, obviously giving them a sample, but it could also be there's other ways that we can share. But really what you want them to do is, that, is have that experience where they get to use that oil for a need that they have. Uh, so, you know, if somebody's got a headache and you've got your peppermint roller with you or they're tired and they need a bit of a prep up, you can just share that with you. And that's what I did in my office is people would come um, in and say, oh, what's, what, what have you got in your diffuser today? And I said, well, it's afternoon. I've got my lemon and my peppermint and that's just helping me focus and get me through this really tough afternoon because I'm tired. And then after a while, what would happen is somebody would battle with a headache or something in the office and somebody else would say, why didn't you go ask Tersha? She's got those oils. Maybe she's got something that will help you. So when people start knowing that you are the oil lady without even having to tell them, the opportunities to, to share and give an experience will also come to you. Um, so your experiences could be a sample, giving your peppermint bottle for somebody at a party, or um, it could be an actual sample where you have a conversation with them and you give them deep blue because they really have a backache or period pain. But it could also be, depending on what you do, something that you incorporate into your business. So I have an aesthetics business. And so what we do is we have a diffuser running in every room. And if somebody is there for a, a face treatment, you know, and they're complaining about really just being tired or stressed, we will get one of our therapists at the same time to also do a foot massage on them with an essential oil. So there's a, another, so that's another way that you can actually sample. It, it doesn't have to be that you're giving them a sample to take home and use. So you have to think about what are the ways in your life that you can share your experiences um, and do so quite consciously. And that's, that's what really um, changes you from just being a sharer to actually building a business. It's a really conscious thought process. Um, and then, of course, probably the most important thing, and it hooks back into that little point around jotting down somebody's name when you actually think of them, is that desire to actually truly help somebody. And when you're sharing that way, people feel your energy. It doesn't become hard for you. You don't feel embarrassed because actually you are trying to help this person. Um, and that's a really important thing. Sometimes when we get into this business and we set ourselves a goal, which we all do, and sometimes we just forget, forget that little point that when you're sharing because you're actually trying to help somebody, it becomes a lot more natural to do that. Um, and of course, like we said last week, and Dom said it again, that comes out of using oils um, and, and getting that experience that you can share. Okay, next slide, Dom. Uh, and then step two is the actual sampling process. So, so there's a couple of things that makes for successful sampling. The first thing is a sample, whether it's that, that foot massage that you're giving somebody or whether it is a sample that you're giving for them to try for or something, it's always free. It's, it's literally just an experience. It's a little gift that you're giving them to introduce them to the oil experience. Um, and it comes back again to being authentic. I mean, the, we are all dealing with so much in so many different ways. We're all experiencing um, what's going on in the world in a different way. If you've got young kids, you have one type of stress. You've got older kids, you've got a different type of stress. If you um, have a big corporate job or whatever it is, we all have our own stress that's very specific to us. So it's really important to be able to um, 
give somebody that experience that somebody actually cares and that, that they will be taken care of. And that is really, again, comes back to the sincerity. The other little trick that's really important is to only sample one health challenge, because otherwise it can get too confusing. And, and obviously oils also are very individual to your body. So, you know, um, a lot of the oils are what we call adaptogens. So if lavender is a, is a classic example. For some people, lavender may pep them up and, and energize them a little bit. For some people, it's totally calming. And that's because depending on where your body is, it will react differently in your body. And we can talk about that another day. But oils have different impacts on different people. So it's very important that you give somebody one oil and depending on what, what experience they have, you then know how to, um, to adapt and adjust the experience. And sometimes it might happen that you give somebody lavender to help them sleep and they go, oh, actually, it really just picked me up. Then you know it's lavender. So then instead of going lavender, next time you might say, let's, let's try frankincense. And you can explain to them that, that it's so personal. And that's such an empowering thing as well with oils, because that is what really creates that awareness for us around our own bodies and what works for us. And that's the real gift of the oils is that you are now con consciously making choices and being aware of what's happening in your body before it becomes something big. So sampling one oil is really important for you to be able to determine the impact it had on somebody and how we can adjust that experience. Um, and then and that's also part of that expectation that you need to set. To say to somebody, this is lavender. Lavender for most people calms them down, so it should help you go to sleep. But your body is unique. So try it out, and then we will follow up and see what effect it had. And if lavender doesn't work for you, we've got lots of oils that we can continue working with until we find the solution for you. Um, and then, of course, what we typically do is in a little sample bottle, when you give a sample bottle, we put 10 to 20 drops uh, in that sample. I personally um, always dilute it unless it's a very specific client that I know that I'm working with that's perhaps heard about the oils or, or knows about oils, but doesn't know about a terror. Usually I would always dilute it. Um, and then if you need any guidance on how to sample, you know, that's where you can work with your mentor in terms of what you can do and how you can do it. We all have our own style and, and doing it differently for customers. So you can work on you know, putting your creative energy into that. Um, the other very important thing then is once you've given a sample is to follow up. And that follow up is actually the most important part because it, you've now built this whole experience where, you, where the customer, your client is feeling cared for, you've taken interest, you've really listened to what it is that they need and what they're struggling with. If you just give them a sample and you leave them, then they're not getting that experience anymore. So when you follow up, you're actually giving them an experience of you, of the care that you're going to be showing them, the support that you will be giving them as a customer. So it's really important that you follow up um, and then you make sure that that is a, a very clear step that you follow with them. Uh, and typically I would say to them, let's try this, try tonight uh, or try to two nights and I will call you on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. Does that work for you? Or some, you know, some people would um, uh, say, well, no, rather WhatsApp me. Uh, personally, I, I like calling, um, but it's not always possible. That that generally works, uh, especially if you, it's somebody you know better and, and you've got a lot of interaction with, WhatsApp might actually work. So there, again, you have to trust your intuition. Um, but somebody that you don't know that well, I would definitely see, be, be brave, make that call, um, and totally have trust in the oils. And if it is that one customer comes back and goes, oh my goodness, the the lavender made me feel fantastic, but it definitely didn't help me sleep. Don't, don't, don't get stressed. Don't fret. Just trust the oils. That's what the, that's what that person's body actually needed. And then if you want to go back and say, well, let's try and get your, your sleep better. Let's try frankincense again. And that's how we work for customers. Um, and that also gives them a confidence that there, there's a whole tool full of uh, a whole bag full of tools. It's not just one wonder oil that you need to find. Um, you actually have options and you are empowered to make your own choices. Um, one of the big common mistakes that, that many people make when they start with um, oils, what we call a stumble, is that we sell an oil as a roller or we sample in a roller. Um, and the problem is that, that that kind of breaks down that empowerment that you want to build with the client, where they actually start learning that this is a, a, a bag of tools that they've got that they can adjust 
for whatever circumstances they need. So if, you, if you're making just a roller, it takes away their, their conscious decision in terms of how they treat their body. Um, and it, it creates a different mindset. So really important to give an experience, give a sample, and that opens a door to a conversation and a journey that you can have with them. And it truly is a journey to an empowered life, a healthy life, um, uh, supporting your emotions, supporting you physically, supporting your family. And that's really how we help them. It's not by giving them quick, simple solutions for the minute. It's about changing life. Um, and then of course, what Dom just said is make sure that they know that you're a wellness advocate. If you are sampling somebody and you don't tell them that you're doing this as a business, you're actually sampling for somebody else um, because somebody else will come and talk to them about essential oils and they will tell them they're a wellness advocate and they'll sign up with them because you haven't said that. So um, work that out in your script. We spoke last week a little bit about um, you need to have your story. So make sure that you actually are comfortable with saying, you know, yeah, I'm a wellness advocate. We love to give you samples. Here it is, try this out and I'll follow up with you. Very important to, to make that point. Um, I guess we can just pause and see if there's any specific questions on this. Pesha, I'd like to answer the question that's just come through. Um, and the question was, when I can find my questions now. So the question was, would you then advise against giving a sample of a roller such as Adaptive or Clary Calm? Really great question. So we highly, no, we kind of direct you very clearly to sample from the top 10. The reason we sample from the top 10 is because if you find somebody that, guys, you can meet every need in the top 10 and we forget the power of the top 10 once we have lots of oils because then we're on a, we're on a whole different journey. You can meet every need in the top 10. So for instance, a woman who was suffering from um, heart flush and a really good, um, a really good peppermint, a really good um, peppermint lavender combination can be really good for hot flushes, right? And then I can also talk to her about the fact that I myself am perimenopausal right now, and I'm just starting to get those. I I I know what a hot flush is. I'm 44. It's just I'm I'm teetering there, and I can say to her that as I'm teetering. I am learning that um, Harry Calm is an amazing um, oil, and therefore the, there are oils that are very targeted, and we can talk about that once you have your oils. Um, what I can say about the whole hormonal journey is that my hormonal journey, your hormonal journey, needs a foundation, guys. It doesn't need one magic pill. And so when you really understand what the foundation of the top 10 is, it really helps you to serve people from the top 10. Now, if you serve, I have very often given a sample of Clary Calm as my second go-to. Um, and then in a little sample like that, and I've actually diluted it because Clary Calm is a pure oil. So it's not a touch, so it's not pre-diluted, the Clary Calm. Um, so I've given it in a sample bottle with a carrier oil and told the person to turn it on their finger and roll it around their uh, back of their ankles um, and had such a great experience, especially in that hot flashes area um, with that person that when they enrolled, they were like, I'll, I would like my kit and I would like to add the Clary Calm roller so that I can have that whole foundation of health and start to use these amazing oils from my visceral experience with my family. And so, um, so then with adaptive, while adaptive is a great oil, if somebody is using adaptive because they're, um, they're using it for anxiety, for stress, for this new time, um, having that foundation of all the oils, the oil, if you're anxious in these times, maybe you need on guard too, you know, so that you are protecting and helping and supporting your immune system and you feel more boundaried and protected going into the world. And so just experience adaptive and then starting with one adaptive roller is not going to build the foundation for a less anxious life if that's the, your, your need point. Um, courier service, that's the best. I use courier guy in the beginning. I'm very, oh, she's so right. She came in fast. Talk to them about Pudo. Go, Tisha. Take it away. 
So, so Pudo is fantastic. I don't have to wait for anybody to come and meet me or anything. So what do you do with Pudo? You download the app. It's run by Korea guys. So they're really professional. You pick the Pudo locker that is closest to you and you package all your stuff up and they've got different size lockers. It's all on the app. And you go deposit your package in the locker, three different sizes for 50 Rand, 100 Rand, uh, 75 and 100 Rand, I think it is. And from there, they collect and they deliver to your client's door. You also have a locker to locker option. And you also have a from my door to a locker where my client can go and pick it up. Um, if it's not suitable to deliver at your client's house. So Pudo is really extremely cost effective um, and just so easy and convenient to use. You can go drop a package off at three o'clock in the morning if you want to, which really works for me because I run out of time in the day. So Pudo is very effective, cost effective and really simple to use and are reliable. We gonna, are we going to put that in the hub, hey? Yes, I can put that in the hub. Thanks for the homework, Dom. <laughs> um, Dom, with COVID, is touching oils with a bare finger on the bottle a good idea? If it is your oil and you are touching it and then you are putting it on your body, it is a very safe idea. So your sample is something you are going to prepare for somebody and then you are going to give it to them. They're going to do all the touching and applying. So the COVID aspect there um, is, is not um, an issue. So we prepare our oils. You can spritz it with On Guard before you put it in your Pudo box. And you are good to go. Um, right, is everyone feeling good about that? Any other sample questions? Sampling is something that you really do work with your upline to get that sampling vibe going. Um, and you know, I, I, the one of the points that was on, I have two recent clients that came and I was at a birthday party with people I have never met in my life. Why? Because it's COVID. I do not know my son's friend's parents at his new school. And um, the one woman said, oh my gosh, I've got such a headache. And I said to her, and she's like, I've got nothing on me and I can feel it coming on. And I said to her, I have my oils in my bag. I am happy to share them with you right now and it'll just help. And she had such an amazing experience there that who, her and her friend came onto my online class um, just off. So the friend didn't even have the experience. She just watched her friend put the oils on and, and be like, oh my God, I can not rush my husband and stay at this party. Um, and that was, that was sampling guys. Wasn't in a little brown bottle, wasn't with a little stick on, the oils were in my bag, they're what I go to, you know? A little kid falls and bumps his head and the mom's freaking out because there's a big egg and we're at the playground. My lavender's there because my lavender's always in my bag. I'm sampling. I don't have to say, I'm giving you a sample. And in two days I will call you to see if the bump on the head, the child's head, and they will start a conversation. Wow, look how, like, this is really supportive. And I say, I know, I really love it with Griffin Falls that I've got something like that's visceral that I can help him. It helps him to be distracted and it's working on the bump. And that's a sample, done, sampling done. And so don't be too tied into how samples happen. Be authentically, get a bigger handbag. That's my big sample top. <laughs> I wanted to share something quickly. So um, I think I had just got to my oils. I, I signed up in Bogo week and I had my oils and I was down in Cape Town and getting back on the aeroplane. They had a standing in that uh, queue and it was hot and there was this mom with a baby. And by the time we got on the flight, this baby was screaming her head off. And um, I didn't pack all my bags in my handbag because I had a two boxes full, but I had my frankincense and lavender in my handbag, which I also always have. And I say, said to her, would you like to some, some of my lavender oil? Just put it in a blanket and see if it makes a difference. And she put it on. And within less than a minute, the baby totally calmed down. The mom calmed down. The dad calmed down. They were all like so upset because the baby's screaming the plane up. And the lady who sat next to me said, got off the plane afterwards in Joburg. She said to me, what did you give them? I need some of that. So literally those opportunities come up anyway. And so have your oils with you. Love that one. Okay. So, so let's, sampling. Yeah. Let's just okay. talk about that. Okay. So, so, so what do you need to sample? So it's really, really simple. Um, and we've got some really good news. So Emma at Oil Up um, has everything that you need to sample. She's got little sample bottles. She's got little balm bars. If you want to do deep blue rub, deep blue rub is actually quite a good sample to give um, as mm -hmm. well. Um, 
And then what um, Emma's done for us is she's put together a kit that you can buy to launch your business it's called the Launch Your Biz Box. It will be on Oil Up and there's a special code and then you get a, a, that kit uh, once to get your business going as a special kit for um, a really, really good price to get you going. Um, and then with that, what you'll see on the screen here, and it's also on the hub, is a little sampling um, booklet that we've got. And it's really, it's, it's one of the best ways to sample. It's really effective. It lists all the, the, the points around that what's beneficial about the top 10 oils, the three ways to use the oils, um, what's really cool about the oils. It's almost like a one-on-one -on -one class in a little booklet. And then on the back, you just tell them what their sample is and what they use it for. Um, and what's really good about this little booklet is that you've got all 10, the top, all of the top 10 oils there. A lot of um, people do single cards um, and it's a great idea because it gives the client the exact step-by-step -step what they need to do, but they don't get the benefit of understanding what they get out of uh, the top 10 oils and the other oils. So it really works very effectively. You put your little name on the back there um, and it's a really great way to sample. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what's in that biz box. So the biz box is um, 50 of the little bottles. So 50 of those, it's 10 of the little balm jars. And because we do have a kit with deep blue ribbon, it's good to sample. Guys, why are we sampling from the top 10 and from the kits? Because if your person says, I had a great experience, I'm in, how do you now say, well, you can't buy that? You've got to buy a kit with this in. You say, here's a great kit that has it in. If you, don't, if you want to do the big kit, we've got deep blue oil. If you want to do the beginner's essential, it's got the deep blue oil in. Then it's got 200 milliliters, so 50 little bottles, 10 bomb jars, 200 milliliters of the fractionated coconut oil, and two sheets of the stickers. Top tip for the stickers. You put your sticker on your little bar, little jar, or your little um, sample bottle, and then you put one layer of clear tape around. Top tip for any time you put a sticker on a bottle, buy yourself really cute at CNA clear tape, and just always put a layer of the clear tape on because oil makes stickers fall off. You might have learned that the hard way. So this whole biz box with the 50 bottles, the 10, the coconut oil, the stickers is 399 Rand. So it's basically cost price and every builder is allowed to order it once. We are not going to announce it on the builder's main group. Why? Because Emma doesn't have a lot of stock right now. She's saving the stock for you people who made the effort to be here tonight. You get first go at this offer. So 399 Rand. When you go on the site, the price will be 3,999 Rand. And then you put in the code BizBox and it comes to 399. Okay. So any questions on that before we move on to the last bit? Um, so guys, the reason we always put coconut oil if you are doing a topical sample so the only time you wouldn't put coconut oil into a sample is if you were sampling um, lemon for their water. Um, if you were sampling um, smart and sassy, you wouldn't put coconut oil in. I'm trying to think of others. Every other sample needs coconut oil because oils are far more effective when using them topically if they have a carrier oil to make sure that the oil is not all evaporating, but it's going into where you're using it topically and staying where it needs to be. Um, there are some oils like for energy, maybe you would sample peppermint and wild orange, and perhaps you wouldn't put a carrier there so that you could, um, so that you could put one in your hand and do a little ghetto diffuser. However, I would always put a little bit of carrier. Why? The oils are potent. You'll still be able to smell it. But once you finish a deep inhale, a nice bit of down the back of the neck with the peppermint is a really good double sample, aromatic and topical. Um, would you dilute the sample if they wanted to add it to their diffuser? Great. So if you were doing, great question. If you were doing a lavender frankincense, um, a lavender frankincense for sleep, let's say for their children or for themselves. I actually suggest that, and I'll ask Tosh's opinion here. I suggest that you sample in a 2.5 frankincense lavender or just lavender um, and tell them to rub it on their feet or rub it on their children's feet. I actually think that's yeah. a big... I, I don't sample with diffuser in mind at all. 
So never. Yeah. Most people don't have a diffuser and what they may do is take the oils and put them on a little essential oils burner with a candle in. People have those in their homes and those break up the compounds of essential oils and should not be used with essential oils for therapeutic purposes. They don't, they don't have um, an effect. So most people get to know a diffuser when they get their essential oils. Um, if they have a diffuser, yeah, I, I would rather direct somebody to do just inhale it. it I just find it's a much better effect for, for sampling because it's direct and it's visceral. When you put it in your diffuser, it's a little bit, although diffusing is extremely powerful, um, you're not getting that visual effect. So when you do the follow-up, it's actually quite hard to get a good conversation going um, because people are distracted often. So but you need to, you know, you need to trust yourself. These are these are the guidelines for what you do 80% of the time. I think you need to adapt to the conversation that you're having. Remember, you're listening and caring and trying to help them. So you you absolutely have the power to, to adapt to what is it they need. Yeah. And if you've got, like, I was a yoga teacher. So did I make every yoga class I taught yoga with essential oils? No. Sometimes when people are coming into a regular class, I would say, hey, would you like a drop of breathe in your hand? Oh my gosh, did they have the best class? It wasn't a big sample thing. It wasn't an essential oils with yoga class. I didn't have to make it a thing. I just made it a share. Here are my oils, share them with you. Um, oh, there you go. em has got everything written out for us beautifully. Thank you, Ares. What a gift to our team. Um, Emma is the founder and owner of Oil Up and she provides many amazing things for our team. So thank you, Ems. Um, okay, let's move on. The third, step three. Now, what Tersha said, really, really important. The sample is not the oil. The sample is you as a connection. And in these times, these specific times we are in, people are so hungry for community and for connection and for people showing up for them people saying you know how how were your children did you try the breather on their chest how are they today how did last night go did you manage to sleep mama you know people are waiting and just so blessed by that and so when you are thinking at home oh i don't want to message her because she's going to think i'm trying to sell her something don't try and sell her something Try and love on her. And then you're able to make that call, okay? And don't forget how much these oils bless you. And if you don't, be brave enough to say, I would love you to come and hear more about these oils. They really have changed my life. That next step, guys. Guys, we didn't have any of you guys invite anybody to Tuesday night's class. It's there. If you are not planning your own class with your upline or sending people to Tuesday night's class, I'm inviting you to invite people because people want to feel like it's important to them. And you may get 25 no's before you get your first yes. Freaking fail forward. Keep asking because that one person who you share with who says, I'll come, if you just change that life, it's just freaking worth the 25 no's. Okay, but you got to get to 26 to get to that person. So keep failing forward and keep trying. And every time you try, you go in again with better, more courage, sometimes less courage, because if you get another no, you're just going to be um, feeling sad. But trust these oils, they work. And so the class, having a class in your life, you guys all have a class in your life. Back in the olden days, when you first started out, you would have to say, I'm going to do this as a business. And then you would contact your mentor and you'd say to your mentor, can we put a class in our diary? And the two of you would use your diary and your mentor would come and teach that class for you. Now we do that all already. Tuesday night, bring your friend, come with, don't just send them out into the world and say, hey, I'd love you to come and listen. Next week, Shasta. Shasta is going to be um, teaching an essential oils class next week. Come and join me. Come and sit on the class. Um, and here, why, are that, why these oils are so great. It makes them feel part of a community when they see all these women's faces on the invite. This is not just you going, 
uh, I might do this thing. It's actually, it's a community, you know, and we're all there and we're asking questions and we're all, you know, in our pajamas with, you know, on the call, all the other women. Now, you got to go to the Tuesday night class. That class is a gift to you guys. Why? Because it's in that class. If you are sharing these oils and you do not know three cool things about essential oils, three ways to use them, you don't have your mini pitch. I'll call the word pitch. We don't like to use them. Your mini share and your maxi share, right? So mini share is these oils are different. You know, nothing's been added, nothing's been taken away. When they distill them, they make sure they're not breaking up the compounds. So forget about pesticides and contaminants and all of that. We also want the natural compound of the oil to be whole. You need to know that. It needs to roll off your tongue. And the way you get to know that is you come to Tuesday night's classes. They're there as a gift for you. And guys, sometimes you're going to come, you're going to turn your computer off, and you're going to have your headphones in, and you're going to be doing the dishes, but you're going to be listening. You're going to be taking in. Um, my favorite wellness advocate, who I learned all my, like, how do I say this succinctly things was, is a wellness advocate called Ange Peters. And I just love the way she succinctly says what makes these oils different. So I listen to all her classes and I listen to them over and over again because do you know what guys, every time I listen, I add a new thing. My current new thing is I micro, um, a microderm, micro needling. I'm, I live at the coast now. I've got to pay more attention to my skin. So I'm micro needling. What's that word? Derm dermarola. Dermarola. That's what I'm trying to find. So I'm using a derm dermarola, which is a little pricks of the skin. And then I'm putting yarrow palm over because yarrow palm helps collagen. Guys, I've got this down. Watch these wrinkles. I'm not going to come in this sunny place I live in now. And so I am using those little nuggets that I picked up. Now I've listened to that class a hundred times. This is the first time I'm trying derma rolling because I've learned it now and now I'm gonna apply it. And then I'm gonna share it with you guys and tell you what I'm loving about it. What, when, how often I do it, when I do it, why I do it. I love doing it. So this is the part. It, it gives you tips and it helps you because every time she starts a class, it was a class about skin. What makes these oils different? Three cool things, how we use these oils. Uh, uh, topically, aromatically, internally. And you learn that knowledge. Because if you are saying to your friend, this is lavender, it's amazing, try it for sleep. She goes home, she tries it for sleep and she's at Diskin the next day buying lavender, that is unsafe. So you have to make sure that the person knows this is doTERRA lavender, it's different. This is the only oil on the earth that is tested 54 times before I give it to you, this one's tested, not batch tested. And this is tested to make sure nothing added, nothing taken away. It is safe to use on your babies. And I am sure of it because they actually um, publish every test that is done on it. They don't just tell me it's pure. So that, that has to be an important part of your sampling because you don't want people going out and buying lavender with fragrance in it and putting it on their children. Set the expectation when you invite people to the class. If you say to people, you're coming to a fun class and you don't say it's about essential oils, then they come there and they're like, oh, this is one of those essential oil classes. Make sure they know it's gonna be an hour. We are strict to keep it to an hour. Make sure they know that when you come to this class, we're gonna tell you how we love to use them, but this is not the lessons on knowing how to use the oils. That all comes afterwards. This is a class so that you really understand why you would want to invest in these oils. What makes them different? What makes them special? Most importantly, what makes them work? Bring your husbands to the class. You can say that, they often don't. Um, and then importantly, and in the class, she will tell you how to get them into your home. Set the expectation. Don't be afraid of the part that at the end, we will tell you really cool ways that you can buy these oils. Pay money and have them delivered to your home. Because if you are afraid of that part of the class, and I'm saying that with such conviction because I used to get to that part of the class. I used to present with all this passion and all this desire for these amazing oils. And then I'd say, and then there are three kids and they're this price. And I'd go, zoom, 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 and I'd go through the slides and I'd be nervous about the fact that I'm telling them the price. That was me. And now I spend time there because these oils are an investment. They are not an expense. And I want you to see, this is your one option. Here is another option. 
and we also have this option and you get to choose. I don't actually care which way you start. I would suggest the home essential kit because it's the best way to start, but it's your choice and here are your options. Put the ball back in their court and then don't try and decide what they should do. Um, we send a registration link and a handout because it makes it more official. This is the stuff that you need, especially for a Zoom class. If I'm doing a one-on-one, um, a, one -on -one, a coffee, um, a meetup with a couple of girlfriends, we don't do the handout and all of that because it's hard to get people to Zoom now. We want to make it perfect. We don't want this to be important. And most importantly, guys, follow up after the class. If you are not following up with that person you sent to the class, everything is the follow-up because it's the follow-up where we in the class will say, the person who invited you to this class will see. I'm just going to mute that if you don't. Um, so the follow-up, it's the most important part. How I like to follow up, you can follow up with a phone call. You can, um, because when they register, you can follow up and say, hey, did you manage to make it to the call um, last night? If they didn't make it to the call that they said they were going to be on, that is your open door to say, I know how life can be. Would you prefer to just meet with me for a 20 minute Zoom call? Because you went to the call, you know what to say in those 20 minutes. You don't need to go into the whole, all the top tens. You could just say, I wanna tell you what makes these all different. And you could do it, especially for, like to someone you know. Um, so it's a new opportunity to either invite, invite them next week or, um, or even bring your upline in to help you with a one-on-one. -on -one. That's another great way to do it. So you get the confidence, right? Um, so often with me, people will ask me, can you come and do a one-on-one -on -one to me? I'll say to them, let's gather three of your friends. And then we just do the one-on-one -on -one with three people because that um, kills three birds with one stone because people often um, can't find the time. So we make a time that meets everybody. And your upline may be happy just to do it one-on-one. -on -one. There's lots of ways you can sort it out. Once they say, yes, I was on the class, it was really interesting. You say, and this is just, I put some scripts here because this is kind of how I do it. I say it a little bit more flowery than this, but basically it was so lovely that you could join us on the class on Tuesday night. Here's a reminder of the oils she mentioned. And then I send them a list of the top 10. This visual will be in the hub. And this visual, it's a good one to save in your phone. It makes them remember what all these oils can do. Because some of the first thoughts that come into a new person's head when they say, see this visual is, do you think I'm gonna need all of those oils? Will I really use all of those oils? So we've touched on it in the 101 class, but we've just skimmed over it. So they may not remember, it's a long class. And so we, I always send that visual. So the first thing that they're reading is, oh my gosh, and I can use it for this and it's respiratory support and digestive support and cleaning and immune system and blah, blah, blah. That's in their head. Now you send them, here's the big kit, here's the little kit, here's the starter beginner's kit. And you send them those, and then you say, here are your different enrollment options. Send me all your questions. And when you're ready, here is my link. Send them the link with the information, guys. If you don't know what your link is, make a note right now um, to ask your upline, help me find my link, okay? Presume the best by sending your link. Because imagine if that person's like, you know what, I'm ready to do this. And then she's got to get back to you. But you're doing homework with your kid or you're doing school pickup because you are a person, you're in a meeting, you've got another job, and then you don't get them your link. And then you're losing that, I'm ready to do this. So I always send the link and I send the step-by-step -step to, this will all be on the hub. I send the step-by-step -step to use the link. You know, follow this link, uh, put in your name, you can leave co-applicant free. There's a visual for that. There's a visual for most things. Um, and so you're setting yourself up for success by everything's in their empowered hands. They don't even need you now. If they are ready to go, they can go. And then you get an email to say, Ding -ding! a new well, wholesale customer has enrolled. And then you know, or you get a few questions. I'm thinking about the big kit, but I'm trying to understand if I get the small kit plus a diffuser. And then you say, there's only 850 difference if you're gonna get the diffuser as well but you get three times more oils with the home essentials kit. Ah, the value, now I'm seeing the value here and you can go on from there. Consider your language. Guys, if you are the friend 
that says, my dear, you told me how expensive school fees are. Are you sure you should be going to the hairdresser? Are you that friend? If your friend goes out to lunch or gets her nails done, do you say, last week you told me that school fees were expensive. Are you sure you should be going for a pedicure? I have never heard any friend say that to a friend because you don't, you don't get involved with how people choose to spend their money. And it's the same with the oils. So if you have a backstory about your friend's current financial situation, A, do these oils serve you? Do you regret having them? If the answer is no, don't rob them of that opportunity by deciding what their bank, current bank situation is. So my mantra is, I am sharing the opportunity with you. I have no attachment to what you choose. The same way, I don't care how many times you get your hair done. I am so, I'm giving you the opportunity and I'm leaving the ball in your court. It's not actually anything to do with me. Other people's money is none of my business. It's my little mantra that I say is anytime I want to get caught up and I don't know if she'll be able to afford the bigger kit. Maybe I should say other people's money. Here are your options. Other people's money is none of my business. It's their business. They get to make all their empowered choices. And once their oils arrive, they continue to get to make empowered choices. Remember, they're not just buying the oils. When they enroll, they are joining a community. And if there's one thing people are looking for, the one thing we lost way before the pandemic was community, was women coming together to say, hey, mama, how was last night? Did that blend you asked for on the experience group work? How can we help you come up with another solution if it didn't? We are here for you and you belong here. And so if you know that that value comes with this enrollment, you can say, this is the big kit. It's gonna help you for the next three to six months. And when you need another oil, you just can buy that one oil and it's 25% off. There is value there. Know that value when you're doing the follow-up. Right, lots of questions. I think Tush is probably handling them, but I'm going to go there. Um, okay, so yeah, you go on the website, everything all up there, it's amazing. You can buy some cute things for your own accessories. Um, nice one, Belinda, not for us to assume. I'm going to just, Oh, I think someone's asking, how do you access Ange Peters classes? So if you guys want to write this down and it's in our resource thing, www.holfit, H-O-L-F-I-T.com, Ange Peters. So it's spelled, let me put it in the chat. Um, uh, and the woman's name, if you just want to Google it, and Peters, she is a Canadian founder. Guys, when you meet her, you'll just be like, I can, this is Dom's vibe. She loves this woman. I adore her. I have, I have collected flannel shirts since I was 16 years old. I've been skateboarding and BMXing since I was six, since I was much younger than that. And I love a flannel shirt. And if you see Ange in the winter, she's always got a flannel shirt in and she was my like, I see you girl. So, um, She's my girl and you can, you'll see why I just, I, I, and you will find your girl. Like if we asked a whole bunch of these leaders to write, so the other leaders that are on here, type the names of your girl, the girl you love. Um, Desiree Mangadog, and Mangadog, Man, Magnadog is another one. Oh, thanks, Jill. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> um, uh, is another one that I adore and I love. I know Tertia vibes with her a lot. So there are many people, um, and we put this in the resource, um, Hayley Hobson. Um, oh, no, you do, you do not need to be a leader to say who you have connected with. It's that connection that like, oh, she tried that, I'm gonna try that. And that's community. It's not just our team. We are part of the whole doTERRA family. You know, we just came, all of us um, leaders just came off a call with 165 other doTERRA leaders, South Africa, not on our team. And we all sat together and did a call before this call, very inspiring with actually one of the founders, Emily Wright. Oh, I love Mama Revolution. She is amazing as well. Um, 
she just did a whole bit on, and I can actually send the recording into the builders group if you're interested, a whole little Instagram story on people. She's really, really strict on, um, I think I did post it on the builders. You guys would have seen it. She's very um, staunch on support local. And so someone said, her, said to her, you, you buy doTERRA, you're an Australian and it's American, where's your support local? And she answered that question so succinctly, roll up to Sunday, I was doing some of, so guys, when you do this stuff, when you do this um, Ange Peters stuff, Mama Revolution, that's your new Netflix, guys. They all have videos, they all have Instagrams. It's not your business. It is your business, but it's not your business, it's your Netflix for your business. So I was Netflixing on, on Sunday and I, loved how she answered support local globally support the small farmers all over the world not just in your country and what we love about doTERRA is they are sourcing at this moment our exclusive south african only essential oil where they're going to source it in south africa exclusive oil supporting the local community and we're going to start we're brand new so we're starting we already source eucalyptus here in south africa and we're going to start um sourcing more. Okay. Just, just another point on the local sourcing. So doTERRA eucalyptus is sourced from two places in the world, Australia and South Africa. Um, so I understand that there's already sourcing happening here. So they different oils do come from different places in the world. Um, in fact, there's a nice, I think Dom, I think you had it in your original um, biz launch, you had where they source. So I understand that they, they do, in Australia, there's a bunch of oils that only get from Australia, like Manuka and tea tree, et cetera, as well. Um, Tea tree also gets uh, sourced in Kenya, so it supports Africa as well. So they, you know, most of the sourcing happens in developing countries, which is really good news. We, I mean, we could just do a whole call just on sourcing. But <laughs> that's why there's, there's so many calls that I'm like, oh. okay, guys, I'm stopping sharing there. We're at 8.36, so I love to respect your time. Those of you who need to go, um, you're welcome to say goodnight and, or goodbye and, and go off. This recording will live in the hub if you want to catch up on it, if you want to do it. It lives in the hub till Sunday. Your homework, your homework for this week got homework this week guys get hold of some samples if you don't have samples yet it's fine put your oils in your handbag start to be somebody who takes their oils with them so last week you had to use them now that you're using them travel with them they must be in your life your two faves for that day take them with you and your other homework is bring somebody to next week's tuesday class invite somebody to come on this journey with you this is a brave move for some of you, you know? Who is the person you're gonna say, I would love to tell you about something that really, really is resonating, that's changing my life. Would you like to come and listen to my friend Shasta talk about these oils? I'm gonna be Shasta's backup, I think next week because she's having power troubles or she might have another backup, but we will talk about that. Um, she, she couldn't even come on tonight because her power's gone down again. Um, okay, so that's the good night, and then I'm going to stay on for some questions. So if anybody has some questions, if you have to go, the recording will be in the hub, and then you can just forward to this part and see what questions came up tonight. So if you've got any questions, feel free to write them in the chat, or you can unmute yourself. So just find your unmute button and say, Dom, I have a question, um, and I'll unpin our videos um, for that. Does anyone have any questions for tonight? Thanks, Bethka. How's everyone doing? You go first, somebody will go second because you went first. So what so while we wait for questions, so Liesel, you'll have your your two invites for Yum Drops Hub um, and the Biz and uh, Claudia, you as well. Um, and I'm just, anybody else can just send me the email addresses, either WhatsApp or here, and then I'll also add you. So Belinda asked the question, how many times should you invite somebody? Um, how many times should you invite someone if they don't come after the first invitation? My answer is, I answer this quite a few times to people. How long is a piece of string? And the reason I say that is because it's very personal, guys. You can energetically know if someone is genuinely busy and then 
you say, let's find a time to just catch 15, 20 minutes. If they're interested, but busy, or if they, please just leave me alone. Maybe you need to leave them alone for a while. You've planted the seed. But here's the important part. Like I've invited a lot of friends who didn't come to get oils, right? To come to my class. They just never came. They got the invite. And the one girl, this was a recent, actually just before I left Joburg, she said, Don, will you meet me for a coffee? And I thought she was just meeting me for a coffee. I had taught her pregnancy yoga when she was pregnant. Her kid is now seven. And when I sat down for a coffee, she said, I've been seeing essential oils coming up everywhere. I went to Afro Africology and bought some essential oils and I've just had a headache ever since. So I thought if I'm gonna get on this essential oil bus, I know the girl I need to call. And that's why she called me for a coffee. And I invited her to a class two years ago and she didn't even reply. She didn't even like double blue tick my message. She scrolled on people. And now she called me because when she was ready, my doors were still open. I was still like, I'm a girl. If you need oils, you know where to come. I don't have to bug you, but there are many, many people, guys, that I didn't follow up with that got oils from somebody else because I just left them. And then they felt embarrassed because they hadn't. But if I had kept going back and saying, I'm still here, if ever you're interested, I know you, I don't know you would love these oils when you're ready. I don't have any attachment to you coming. I want your life to change. Um, and so, yes, that is a really important one. How often should you keep inviting someone? As long as they're on your heart and you're not, you know the difference if you're bugging someone or if you're really like, I just know you're gonna love these. Come on this journey with me. Here's a sample, have an experience. Um, how do you get a sticker for your car? You can go to any vinyl company. So you'd, um, you actually, you can't. You'd actually have to talk to Tertia. My sticker I bought in from doTERRA in, at the convention. And there's a bit of um, compliance things around making a vinyl sticker, but let's look into it. Maybe we'll make some up for the team that are all compliant. Um, so Laurel said, the link you spoke about after sending info about the 10, top 10 oils and the kit. So that link, Laurel, every single one of us has a doTERRA number. Okay, it's what you use to order oils. That number is linked to your um, wellness advocate three. When somebody is ready to enroll, we, we have a proper link so that when they click on it, it will take them to, let me find this page for you guys quickly. I'm gonna show it to you on here so you actually get a... Um, um, So that link means that when they click on it, it's called find your enrollment link. Let me show it to you. Um, just opening it here. Okay. Okay, I found it now, I just have to find Zoom again. Um, Okay, so when you send that link, so you see the green arrow that I've put up here um, at the top here, that in there is my link so that when the person clicks on this screen and it takes them to this screen where they're entering all their details, my name is also populated there. Guys, if your people come to a class and you say these oils are amazing and you really should get them, do you know how many people go and Google doTERRA and start buying oils? And then they're actually enrolling possibly with somebody else or as an orphan and they're not linked to a human. It's not very easy to enroll yourself without a link. So they make it hard so that people have to come back to you and say, I'm ready, how do I get started? And then you send them this link, okay? So it's your personal link. It looks like this when they open it. And when they're filling in all their details, your name appears here so that they are enrolling with you and not anyone else. This also means I get 20% of whatever this order was paid into my bank account on a Wednesday. So it goes into my account every week 
when they enroll with my number. So that is your enrollment link. You must go to Livia and you must say, Livia, help me find my enrollment link. That needs to live in a special place on your WhatsApp. So it's ready whenever you need. Sitting in a park, da 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 da. You ready to get oils? Here's my link. Okay, so that's your enrollment link. Okay, more questions. How do you go about that? This is your personal your website link. Good, yeah. So people who join um, and aren't re are showing interest in becoming a wellness advocate, they, guys, every single, we'll talk about this more next week because that's when we'll talk about enrolling people. Everybody who comes into our company enrolls as a wholesale customer. And only when they are ready to enroll somebody themselves, we go into the back office and we click a button and they now become a wellness advocate. So do not enroll people as wellness advocates. Just enroll them as a wholesale customer. It just gives you more options. And then when they're ready, as soon as they're ready, click, add your ID number. Now, all of a sudden, free, no strings attached. You're a wellness advocate. You don't have to do anything else. Hope that answers that question. I'm going back to see more questions. I love the questions. Bring me all the questions, even hard questions. Is there a minimum number of enrollments you need to do a month to be paid on a Wednesday? Hell to the no. And remember on a Wednesday, you're getting paid by the people you enroll and the people underneath you who are enrolling and a percentage of what the people underneath them are enrolling. So you can get paid on a Wednesday even if you personally didn't enroll anybody once you've had a bigger team. Um, everybody that you enroll, you earn a percentage of them. In a month that you don't enroll anybody, you don't earn a percentage. So that it's also not a company where it's like, you have to enroll X amount of people. You wanna enroll people, but there's no requirements. This is your business. You're very in control about it. Um, so every Wednesday, you're gonna get paid. Now, here's the requirement. If you do not place a 100 PV order in that month, where you've been paid on the Wednesdays, we spoke about it last week, the next month, you'll actually have a negative balance in your account, in your doTERRA account, because they've paid you money, but you haven't invested in your company that month. And so they'll actually bring that money back. And then the next time you earn 20%, it will pay that amount to the company back because you didn't do your 100 PV. Is everyone clear on that? So every month in order to earn those Wednesdays, you have to purchase 100 PV. Yeah, I would uh, Dom, say Dom, Dom, just two other questions. So around marketing and advertising and just how we go about that and get support, maybe. I don't know if you want to just chat about that quickly. And the guidelines. Oh, so the oh, question yeah. is, is there any support around marketing and advertising? How do we do it? So maybe this just is, talk a little bit about it. I'm going to throw this right back at you. So Tosha okay. is our expert on this. Guys, when in doubt, ask. When in doubt, ask. It's, it's actually really important. Um, so yeah, I will hand over to you. Okay, so, so it's, it's actually a really big topic and I'm, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come at it from um, a compliance standpoint. So uh, Dom and I are talking about doing a class on compliance. Compliance is um, kind of the rules that we need to stick to with doTERRA. And one of the reasons for that is because doTERRA is an American company and every country in the world has rules around um, how, what you can do in the wellness and health space. So when it comes to advertising and marketing, there's certain rules around how you can advertise your doTERRA business, the statements that you're allowed to make. That's the one angle, that's the doTERRA angle. The other angle, of course, is your own business and where you put your efforts um, and, and your time into actually advertising. And we kind of touched on that last week a little bit around websites, et cetera. So the best advice I can give you for marketing and advertising is um, that as far as possible, you use the graphics, et cetera, that we are already providing. Dom does a lot of that. If that doesn't fulfill your need, then ask. Ask for something else. Do we have something, et cetera? If you want to talk about, can I take an ad out in my school's classifieds or something of that sort, speak to your mentor, your upline. And if they can't answer your questions, they'll definitely come to Dom 
um, or myself to just give you some guidelines there. So it, it's a very big question, but just be aware that you have to pick your wording and your and how you use uh, the doTERRA logo and their brands very carefully uh, in that. And, and we will do a more in-depth one on that as well. Um, and I'm also doing, I will do on the hub, also a section about compliance and what you can, can and can't do with FAQs. In the meantime though, ask your upline or ask Dom or even reach out to me, happy to to give you some guidance. So the best site for picks of oils, doTERRA actually, um, here's my thing with picks of oils. Um, there is a, there is, a, in fact, I'm gonna put it on the hub. One drop is an amazing place for picks of oils. I have an affiliate code, so it's not doTERRA, but it's doTERRA um, authorized, I think, certified. Mm -hmm. um, yep. I have an affiliate code, um, your upline, if your upline has doTERRA, uh, OneDrop, she use her affiliate code um, if you want to get visuals. But here's the thing about visuals, guys. If you are spending all your time doing visuals, you are not sharing with people. So my advice and the reason I do them is because I do them in two seconds, I know the compliance, and I put them out so that you win a new, like Serenity Mist. It was launched at 8 a.m., you guys all had a serenity mist to talk to your customers about by 8.05. Like I am doing that so that you are sharing oils and not spending a lot of time. Um, so any visuals that we put out that has yum drops on it is free for you to put all over your social media, everywhere you go. And if your upline is at the level who are doing visuals, you may use her visuals as well. So. Pure Republic does visuals, Oily Africa does visuals. If your upline is doing visuals, she's already at the stage with visuals. But if you are spending your time on Canva, on pages, on all these programs doing visuals, you're not doing your business because that's where you should be. You should just be taking those visuals and freaking running with them. The doTERRA visuals that get put out, you're allowed to use them too. You are allowed to use the doTERRA visuals. So you can use any doTERRA visual you find because it's done compliantly and the right logos and everything. But here's my thing. I make visuals for our team because I want our team to have a sprinkle, a flavor, a little more. I like it to have the price sometimes, especially when we're sending to our customers. And so that's why I do visuals for you guys and you may run with them. If you are using visuals, please guys, especially at COVID, I'm gonna make a big point about this. There may not be the hashtag, the name, the word, the information, COVID, anywhere near a visual on doTERRA. There may actually never be anything like diabetes, high blood pressure, blah, 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 with a visual. Because the FDA is so ready to say they're making claims. They're making claims that they can cure COVID. And we're not doing that. We know we have tool tools that can support the body if it has COVID but you may not say that publicly in a thing. I can say that in a 101 class. I can say, if you have COVID fatigue and you are feeling really um, down, these oils will help your body to remember what it knows to do. They will support your body in healing, in remembering, feeling stronger in, in that way. So if you wanna walk away and go, you know, when I get COVID, I wanna have these tools in my home, you're correct. But I'm not saying that these oils heal COVID. These oils support your body. I'll say that every day, 100 times a day. Um, and your body in these times needs support. Um, also, things like one drop, things like this cost money. Guys, don't spend more money than you're making. I got a one drop account. So here's my story with one drop. One drop accounts is, you know, thousand rand, something like that. I. When I went to convention, I volunteered for Keely. Got a nice cute picture with her. I volunteered for Keely to hand out flyers for OneDrop. And on my lunch break, I went and handed out flyers for OneDrop around the whole of convention. And in return, I got six months free. And that is how I got a OneDrop account. Why? Because at that time I was only silver. And I wanted to not outlay more than I was bringing in. I was bringing in enough, but I used all my silver money to get to America to go to the convention. So then I worked at convention to get my OneDrop account. And that's how I built my business. I actually 
built my business. When I, I added to my business once I um, made enough money to do that. Don't put yourself in debt. It's all made for you. Yeah. Also, um, another thing that I will share, we'll share that with the OneDrop link as well, is that Terra does have some sites where they provide you with images. Um, I'll put those links in for you as well. So if you do, if you're looking for an image that we don't have, or that Terra doesn't have, and Dom's too busy to make, or, or OneDrop doesn't have, there's a whole lot of them. So I'll put those links um, up there for you guys. And they're all like ready, like you can use those. As um, and guys, always, so that those of us who have a OneDrop account, come to us and say, I'm really looking for a visual for this thing. Um, and we will totally help you with that anytime you want. Um, more than happy to help with that. I just can't spend all day making other people's visuals for their look and feel. So I can't offer that. <laughs> Got other things. Um, so here's my net lot. What I'm going to leave you with on that. If what you are spending your time and energy on is not directly bringing money into your bank account, that's called Netflix. That's actually your spare time. So you need to be making sure that your time you are spending in your business is bringing a financial return. And so the only thing you could be doing that will bring a financial return at this stage of your business is sharing and connecting with humans. So going for a cup of coffee for some, with somebody who you wanna reconnect with, don't talk about oils that first coffee. If there is somebody in your life that you're like, I know this girl, she would love these oils and she's got a really big network. Go for a coffee with her and maybe you don't even talk about oils or maybe you do because she says, wow, you're smelling great. What, are, what new perfume are you wearing? You know? That is a much better spend of your time than watching a doTERRA movie by Ange Peters or um, making a pretty visual. That is a, connecting with another human and making a connection where they see you and you see them and you listen to them. That's a business investment time and then anything else. So before you put energy and effort into something, is this directly bringing um, me financial reward? It's a business question you need to be asking yourself. And maybe you do a whole bunch of stuff and it's not bringing you financial reward. You gotta shift a little, you gotta try something new. Business, business chat, guys, proper business chat. Okay, any other questions before we say goodbye? We've gone over. Thanks for staying with us, those of you who are here. Guys, bring us questions, okay? Once you get in the hub, Start to look around. There's places you can write comments. You can write questions inside there. You can say, I'm in here and I can't find shit. You can even say that. We will help you from there. Guys, don't go look, looking for all day for all night. There's a search bar. And we're trying to make everything we put in there extremely searchable so that it becomes like, you know, she said there was a place where we can, you know, how to, a visual to how to enroll people, you know? Where do I find those? Just put it in there and it'll bring up all the options. Go in there and play around. Okay, lovely to spend the evening with you. If there are no other questions, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for being here. Bye guys. Thanks, Tosha. Thank you. <laughs> Last minute. <laughs> Bye. Bye guys. <laughs>